It's not uncommon to have an area on your website where you're trying to showcase what you're going to deliver or what is the benefit for your client or your audience. So on screen, I've got three child containers. So I've got a section called key benefits and I've got container one, container two and container three. And you can basically see what they contain at the moment, but I'm going to go through them. You may want to showcase like I'm going to give you 126% growth, but there's different ways you can do it. And I want to talk about the pros and cons of it. You don't have to agree with what I'm going to showcase with you because there's many ways to do this, but I'm going to talk to you about the common ways. So child container one is basically just a child container, background color, border radius, and we have a heading and a text editor. Why is this kind of useful? Well, you have control over the heading, so you can size it to be what you want. And then you have the text editor. And again, you can size that out to be how you want. And you could drop in an icon and an image. This is what I like to call the standard child container key benefit container thing that is quite common on websites. People just drop in a container, heading, text, maybe an icon, maybe an image, maybe a button as well. The second child container is just the text editor on its own, okay? There is no heading, but you can clearly see that we have a little bit of different styling. Well, that's because over here, I've just gone and made this be heading three. Whereas down here, we have the paragraph. So you can use a text editor. You're kind of reducing the amount of widgets you've got on the screen. I mean, it's not gonna make a huge amount of difference because it's still gonna be rendering for your fonts and all of that. But rather than having a heading and a text editor, you could just use a text editor. And you could assign different items inside of there to be heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, or whatever. The problem though with this is that you lose a bit of control. And you might say, well, I want to get a bit of spacing, then you start hitting in return. But you do lose kind of control over how big that's going to be. Let me just undo that. Whereas over here, if we go to this container, this is set to be space between. So I can start to manipulate it to be how I want. Whereas over here, if I go with top, everything's at the top and we got a bit of space at the bottom. You go to bottom, you go to middle, you know, space between is not really going to do much, but it's not perfectly even. So I hope that clarifies how you could do it with a heading and a text editor or just with a text editor. And I'm not trying to insult or patronize anyone, but I'm just letting you know, I was going to say showcasing, not really showcasing, but just sharing different methods. Now, this actually is one of my favorite ones because I have even more control over what I'm doing. This child container is set to be a row and it is also set to be a wrap. Okay. All the others were just columns. Okay. Verticular. This one is set to be a row. So we have the first heading over there. We have the second heading, which is actually sat side by side. Let's explore the first heading. We go to the advanced tab. It's set to 47%. We go to the second heading. It's set to 32%. They don't have to add up to 100%, okay? I only made them as big as they needed to be. If we go back to the child container, everything is set to be justified to the start. So if I was to go with center, see what happens, go to the end, space between, we'd have space between. I want them to be at the start. The reason why I kind of like this, and also we have a text editor, which is at the bottom over there. The reason why I like this is that I can now work on them individually. If you're okay with HTML and CSSing, you could go and drop in a widget or you could drop in a heading and then you might go out, sorry, not a heading, you could drop in a text editor and then, sorry, I'm doing this wrong. You could drop in a text editor, go to the text and drop in your code over there. But with this option, I've got full on control over what I wanna do. I can now stylize them differently. So if you are not okay or you're not confident with doing style and span and all these things when you start to get a bit funky with a bit of HTML or CSS, this could help you out as well. So I could have a completely different style, more bespoke. I mean, I could drop in an icon over here as well and have everything as a row. You could do that here, but I always feel like if you start to break things out, because your client might come back and go, oh, I want to change the word growth. Fine, you just go and change the word growth. Or maybe you decide you're not going to show the word growth. Yes, I know you could easily do that here as well. What's the problem? You're trying to make a, a mountain out of a molehill. I'm not. I'm just showcasing there are different ways you can make this work for you. And obviously in the mobile, you know, you might want to then separate this out. So if we go to the mobile view, this is how it looks. 
But what if I was to make this a whole lot bigger and I have the word growth on another line below the 126? It allows you to have a much more bespoke feeling rather than just your standard heading text or even just a text editor. Yes, I know you're not going to agree with anything I've actually said, but I hope this gets you to think a little bit differently about creating your child containers or any extra areas where you're trying to show off a benefit or a goal and just be a bit more imaginative. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon.